Hey, welcome back, factory fam. We gotta keep moving. We got a couple more days before this bad boy's gotta get the paint. So I think we're gonna take the grill out today, possibly mess with the door handles. Stay with me, let's do this. Hey, welcome back factory fam. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's not too bad outside. We don't have a ton of, uh, we don't have a ton of sunlight, but we have enough daylight. And honestly, we're a few days away from rolling this bad boy into the booth and starting hardcore paint prep. Um, if you guys have been staying up on the channel, you guys know I've pretty much unwrapped. I saved the door handles. We might get into that today. Um, I might save that for tomorrow. Um, but all in all, it's pretty stripped in here. Um, I do have to decide what we're doing with the door panels, but really the door panels, the seats, the carpet, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what's left. I know that looks super dark, but um, everything else is really, really, really stripped down. So yeah, gosh, we're so close, but Anyway, I think what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna try to get the grill out and break the grill down. So when we get it into paint, we I have it all labeled. Um, we're painting certain things a certain color, certain things other, so. Anyway, that's what we're about to do. Stick around with me. Let's take care of this and get ready for paint. All right, guys, so um, we're gonna go ahead and start taking the grill out. Um, what we have just in general are um, two Phillips head screws. We got two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side here. And then we have eight um, number six bolts across the front. So let's do that. All right guys, so I can't figure out what size those are, but I got a little mini pair of, of needle nose. We're just gonna do what we can to get them out of there. We just gotta keep pushing at this point. that piece gone. So we covered two more of the uh, the push pin style uh, Phillips head pins here on this second layer shroud. Um, like I said, I've taken this apart before. It's just been a really good amount of time since I have.
All right, guys, from what I do think I remember um, at this point, we have to pop out that center section of the grill. Um, you know, my favorite tool, the ground down and sanded down flathead screwdriver. So, there we go. So we got her off. We definitely popped a couple clips. Um, I will go ahead and plastic weld those. Should not be a problem. We're gonna paint it. No worries. We gotta unwrap all these pieces besides. So, set that to the side for now. You just absolutely can't see anything now from what I do remember. So there's one of them that I broke. Yeah, you just literally can't see anything in here. So there's two, two bolts to get that center section out. I believe those are the, I think those are our tens also. They are. So we'll get those out. doing this so they're right down in here. I know you can't see them, but two tents. There's one on that side, one on that side that I just took out, and then this should come out hopefully, and then we'll work on the other interior vents on the headlights. See if we can pop those bad boys out too, because we gotta, we gotta get all that out. So basically the idea of doing this before we go um, to Zach's to start actually, you know, getting ready for actual paint. Because I'm trying to save us as much time as there as we can. Because, like I've told you several times, Zach is moving at the end of the month. So, we, uh, we don't have a ton of time to paint the car. But, honestly, at this point, Zach's the only one I'd want to paint my car. So, we're doing it, man. We got to do it on his schedule. And I'm super okay with that. As long as he gets to be the one to paint the car, I'm really psyched on it. Totally just saw a clip fall on the ground and I immediately lost it. I heard and saw it hit the ground and then I don't see it anywhere. So I don't know, we'll keep going. It's definitely hung up somewhere here. There it goes. All right. So that's what the back of that looks like. A couple more clips. Gosh, just endless, endless freaking clips. All right, so then we already loosened this bad boy up. So this should be able to That seems like that's like the whole bumper support. Okay, so you might, might not be getting that off. Let's see if we can pop this bad boy off. A couple little tiny star nuts. Let me see if I can get those. All right, y'all, so this portion we're gonna work on right now. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but there's hole right here, hole here, hole here. 
um, their T15 Torx. So we're gonna do those on both sides and see if we can get those, those spots popped out of there. So those came out super easy. Um, the three little T15s, took those out. Um, and then it appears we have two more tens on the headlights. There's one here, one here. Um, I think this might come out if we, um, if I go ahead and unclip, there's several clips you can see like here, 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 here. Um, then hopefully that would come out. And then we can kind of start assessing everything else and where everything else needs to come out. So I'm gonna take a look at that, see where we're at. All right guys, so I, I did try to pop that out. For some reason, like I got halfway through and it doesn't want to come out anymore. So I'm gonna go back to the headlights here and we are going to see um, if I can get those out and if that opens up some some sight for me to be able to tell where where exactly those are connected and how I can get that out or if we need to take the bumper off or what we're going to do so. The headlight seems super solid in there still. I mean, it's moving, it just... I just can't see anywhere else where it would possibly be getting hung up unless we literally do have to get the front bumper off, which, I mean, if we do, we do, so. Well, I don't know where that came from. Um, focus. It's not focusing. Oh. Whatever this piece is, definitely snapped when I'm trying to pull the bumper, pull the bumper free. Um, so, I don't know, but, I'm gonna go ahead and start bagging up all of the nuts and bolts so I don't forget where they go because that sucks. If there's any advice I can give to you on breaking down a car, label, bag your bolts, and clips, whatever else. So let me go grab those and be right back. All right guys, so I got got all my, all my stuff labeled here. Uh, so, Bumper mounting, bumper be on the other side too. Light bolts, you guys.
I think most of these are from the grill. Set those over there too for the headlights. I think we should be done with mounting bolts for the grill. Um, but I'll leave those chill in there too. So I think now I'm going to try to undo. Um, I'll take the 10 mil bolts out of the headlight and then I'll have to um, get down in this wheel well and um, take the screws out over here. Um, to try to pump the pull the bumper off. So well, let's do it. That piece broke on this side too, so I don't know what to say about it, but apparently it doesn't like that. All right, we're gonna see if we can pop this side off really quick. And then I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get underneath the bumper. Uh, there's gotta be some kind of mounting points under there because the bumper still doesn't feel like it's ready to come off yet. That, so all right let me get a moving blanket we'll pop under the car all right so the beach towel is more accessible and i'm gonna go ahead and pop off my new all-white factory fiction hat so i don't destroy it all right let's see what's going on under there let's see what we got Oh, all right. So, more of the more of the smaller than sixes, but bigger than a five. So, dang, it, these these are terrible. Truly really terrible. Man, guys, this is a pain. This sucks. So, I don't know if you can see them, but they're literally. They're like all along the front of the bumper edge. So, there's like eight more. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me do it because it's taking me forever, but they're tiny. All right. And, like I said, I can't tell you what size they are. Because I don't freaking know. They're terrible. Gosh, my autofocus sucks. All right. Well, I'm going to go see if I can find something better than a needle nose players to get these. So, look around here. Uh, what if I use them too small? So I guess that's how they gotta come out, y'all. That's it. So oh, go ahead and time lapse this. 
but it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna try to hurry. Honestly, it's it's starting to get cold and it's rainy. So, oh, let's do it. Guys, we got three out of seven. And that took me about 15 minutes, so we're shooting about five minutes a piece, which sucks. last one of those so I don't know what that's gonna do but I hope that he wants to let the motor come off Finally, she off. So that's literally the majority of what it was, those stupid, stinking, tiny, tiny, tiny bolts. So, obviously can't leave those hanging there, so I might just tape them up for now. <coughs> the only place we're driving this guy is literally two Zacks after this, so. Um, we do gotta, I do have to try to, Figure out where the mounting is exactly for the headlights, which, like I said, hopefully we can see more. Yeah, there's looks like there's something else going on, and honestly, it might be this whole bracket. So I don't know. I'll have to look more. We might have to do un undo this bolt, this bolt, and then. Um, pop that out but that might be what it actually is to get the headlights out so I'll look a little more but we did get the freaking bumper off which I don't know what was holding this up on the back side yeah it's that's literally all one piece what a, what a stinking nightmare look at these clips you guys so well I'm gonna have to literally get everything else out of there oh, get this 
into more of a one piece situation. We can start pulling more stuff off, but hey, we got it off, you guys. What a freaking nightmare it is, but we got it. So there you go, there's a second gen Ford Flex front bumper and grill removal. So. All right guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, I'm gonna have to mess with the headlights more. Sorry we didn't get to the door handles, but maybe that'll be my day tomorrow. Um, headlights, door handles, and then probably breaking the bumper down, um, getting the lower grill out of it, uh, that rear support piece, and kind of see where we're at um, time-wise, and if we have time, we'll mess with the door handles. Otherwise, I might just have to do the door handles once we get it the car to Zach's so anyway y'all as always hit the subscribe button uh, leave a comment hit a like share with your friends man uh, here at Factory Fiction we're trying to grow the car community and as always remember build your car for you not for somebody who subscribes to you or likes you or comments uh, on your videos or posts so remember you're the one who's got to drive it you're the one that's walk away from your car and you're not looking back at it you're driving the wrong car so have a great day we'll see you next time on factory fiction y'all peace hey guys so i'm back um i was actually poking around the headlight right after i signed off and the other headlight came right out so um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now boom this thing looks straight there so um literally all it was was this guy one more 10 and she came right out unplugged it so i will show you but it's definitely the bumper was keeping us um, from being able to get it out because that basically sits all this sits behind the bulk And like that, she was out. And there's two clips to pop out. One there. Hmm. All right, well, that's not really wanting to go there. The other one literally came right off. This one is just wanting to be sticky, apparently. Oh. Wow. Um, try to. Do. There it goes, it was just stuck, but that's it. Ugh. Also that bottom piece that was hanging down. 
um, was literally three push pins. So that's it. Let's sit over there. Gosh, it's dark in the garage. Okay, so sit over there by the bumper. That piece of was hanging down. So should be good to go. At least to drive it over to Zach's, but there you go. Headlight, headlights out. Man, you take the grill, the bumper, and the headlights off this car, and it looks crazy. So, but so we gotta do for paint. So this really is where I'm gonna leave it for today. I'm gonna pick up everything, clean it up, go inside. I got a bunch more stuff to do. So we'll see you next time. Peace.